hello guys welcome back i told you in my last video that today we are gonna talk about fear and bore have you ever had a bore in your life have you ever had a bore in your life please pardon me i'm preparing supper I'm making my toque today, so I'm getting everything ready as I talk to you. There was this teacher in primary school who used to bury me. Not even a student, not even my fellow classmate. It was a teacher. A teacher, can you believe that? And to make the matter worse, she was a female teacher. She used to bury me a lot. For no reason, I was doing good in, her, in all her subjects. I was passing. I love all the subjects that she was teaching, but she still didn't like me at all. You know, I used to envy my fellow classmates because they had a real and a better relationship with this teacher. She used to taught CRI, Swahiri, and music. I was passing all the subjects, but yet he didn't like me at all. She'd shout at me for no reason. She'd beat me for no reason, even when I'm not, I was not doing anything wrong. She'd insult me in front of all the other students and this made me reason why why did it did i even came came to school i hated school because of this teacher i hated school so much and i wish there was no school at all i remember this day i went to school without shoes <laughs> I remember uh, it was on a Saturday, so I washed my shoes on Friday. As you, as you know, you guys of those do those days, we used to have one or two pair of shoes. So I had one pair of shoes of going to school. So I washed my shoes, and then I put them outside to dry. It didn't dry, so I went to school without shoes the following day. And when she saw me with her shoes, hey, I don't know. She was so mad at me. She insulted with me with all kind of insult. Why did you not come to school with those shoes? Why? Look at the other student. And I say, wow, if I had a pair of shoes, could have come to school with two pair of shoes but now I have only one but I didn't say that I was saying that with my heart she beat me that day that day for not going to school with her shoes she beat me and I remember I cried and cried and cried that day even my fellow classmates where they pitied me a lot. I was beaten for not going to school with shoes. I remember that day very well. Now I look at life and look at myself. I don't have much, but I'm grateful for what I have. And to be honest, I have more than five, six, seven, let me see, ten pair of shoes right now. <laughs> Not much, but I know there are few. There are few who doesn't even have one or two. But I'm grateful, and as I look at my life now, and I remember what. <laughs> That time when I was beaten for not going to school with shoes, I kind of wonder, God, you work with mysterious ways. 
you know that teacher made me to repeat across I was promoted to go to the next class but I didn't go to the next class because I know if I go with her she will continue with them with the same same attitude with the same mistreat mistreatment towards me so I decided to repeat another class to avoid that teacher I repeated another class but Rakri God had my prayers she was trying to transferred to another school <laughs> I was free I was free but I was also mad because I repeated the same another class to avoid him yet she was transferred <laughs> but I was left in the same 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 class that I repeated <laughs> today I met Today I always or normally met her on my way to home to to my Ushago and sometimes I really want to ask her why did you hear me back then? Why did you mistreat me like that? Why me? Why not the other student? I you were the only I was the only person you were mistreating in that class. I was passing all his subjects. I was passing everything. I was good in Swahili, Sari, and music. I was good. I didn't fail. In fact, I was top three. I was always top three. If one, two, three in my class. But still, he didn't, she didn't like me. She had this hatred so much hatred towards me I don't know why I don't know why until today I can't think of something which I didn't want to make her hate me to make her insult me to make her beat me for no reason Oh God. Wow, wow, wow. And this made me develop another fear because every time I would see her outside, oh, I remember we are having her subject, the next lesson. Oh, I would start shaking and everything would change all at once. She made it half. self esteem and she made me even wonder why I even went to school for the first place I hated school because of this teacher but after she was transferred to another school my life started coming back to normal my life started coming back to normal but but still I had fear because in my mind was like what if another teacher comes is that treat me the same what if she ever told another person another teacher to hate me this consumed me and I live with fear but without seeing her at our school I was okay with that but there's still this fear she inserted this fear inside me and I had to live with that year for a very very long time until now I've decided to talk about it and to let it go because I don't want to to keep holding this to myself for the rest of my life I want everything to be normal I want everything to be okay the reason why I started this YouTube channel is not because of followers or anything. It's my channel. And I like to post what I have gone through. I like to post what I've got as a person, experience, all my experiences in life. <sighs> wow. Uh, 
pad on me. I'm cooking at the same time I'm talking, so I'm looking at what I'm cooking. Today, we are making matoke. Matoke, my meat is lady. And I was creating the JJ and garlic and everything. But it's okay. Thanks for listening to the story. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please, as a humble request, please do so if you are willing. It's not a command or a force or anything. It's it has to come from the heart. If this story touched you one way or the other, please subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.